Welcome! In this video, you will see how the final round online exam looks like. First, go to the exam website. Please make sure to open the page with the latest version of Google Chrome or Firefox. Here, you can log in with your email and password. The login is only possible within the exam period and if you have qualified for the final round. Now you will see some general information. The final exam has 40 multiple choice questions. You have 60 seconds to read and answer each question. It is not possible to skip or go back to any question. The order of the questions is random. Next, please confirm that you understand the rules of the exam. You are not allowed to open any other browser tabs or windows during the exam. You are not allowed to receive help from other people or the Internet. We record several things to detect cheating, such as the time to answer each question or any browser activities. You are responsible for ensuring a working Internet connection throughout the full exam. It is not possible to pause, continue or retake the exam. Next, a teacher has to supervise your exam. To confirm that, your teacher has to approve the exam by opening the teacher account on a computer or phone. There, it is possible to enter the six-digit approval code. The page will automatically continue as soon as your teacher has approved you. You can also use the special Corona exception. If you do not have a teacher available, please click on Proceed below. In this case, another person has to record you doing the exam with a phone or video camera. The video must include the whole 40-minute exam from start to end. The video has to clearly show you in front of the computer and the exam content on the screen. Please enter some information about the person filming. Now you are ready to start the exam. Keep in mind that you have only one try. Click on Start Exam to begin. You will see the first question. You can choose your answer by clicking one of the four possibilities. Below, you can see the time that is left to answer the question. You can change your answer within this time. The page will automatically proceed to the next question. You cannot skip or go back to any question. Never refresh the page yourself. This might cause technical issues. When the exam is over, you will see the recorded total time and the time for each question. If we detect any time issues which could lead to a disqualification, you get the chance to explain the reasons for the issues. At the end, do not forget to log out. We wish you good luck and everything best for the final exam.